I'm Chaplain Anthony Kelly, and today I want to talk to you about hospital chaplaincy, its role, its value, its meaning, and what does it mean for us as Army chaplains. Hospital chaplaincy is a big topic, it's a big subject, and this is a short little video, so it's a lot more than what I can cover here in this video. But what I encourage you to do is to Google CPE, Clinical Pastoral Education. If you're interested in hospital chaplaincy, you got to do that. You got to Google it. You got to investigate CPE, Clinical Pastoral Education. It is a year long training course broken up in four units, and it trains you to be a holistic, a better chaplain, somebody who's more in touch with your emotions and your feelings and your hurts and your wounds, your pains, so that when you walk into a hospital room, you don't vomit out your stuff or project your stuff up on the patient. But what it does is it helps you to when you walk into that hospital patient's room to realize it's a sacred space and they have a sacred story to tell you and they, they're they hurting and they're in pain and they're in need. They're at the beginning of life or maybe at the end of life and somewhere in between. They are going through procedures or major, major life altering surgeries and they need hope. And what can you say? When someone has terminal cancer and they look at you and say, Chaplain, why am I dying? Why am I, my life is being taken? What are you going to say to them? What can you say? What kind of hope can you give? And so CPE will help you in that. CPE will help train you and guide you, especially you go through clinical hours and you have a small group of peer chaplains that will help you'll be able to discuss things and why you prayed or why you did not pray with the patient, why you did that or did not do that. And you have a supervisor who will help guide you through. And so CPE is a very value added tool for the chaplain to have. But in the army chaplaincy, it's generally offered to the junior or mid grade chaplain at the captain level. And, or it will be offered as a, advanced civil schooling for the newly minted major to go to. I took it as a junior captain. I had just got back up. I was at my first assignment and I was deployed during my first assignment. And once I got back, a board had met and they offered me CPE. And so I went for my year of CPE at San Antonio, Brook Army Medical Center at the time. And I went through my year of CPE and I learned a great deal about myself. I learned who I was. I learned all the gruff edges and the growing needs I had in my life. And I learned how to minister. When I walked one time, for example, into a patient's room, the patient had just got back from Afghanistan. And they had dust still on their uniform from Afghanistan. And I remind you, I'd just gotten back from Afghanistan myself. So I walked in the room and something triggered. That smell triggered something in my mind and immediately... I was taken back to Afghanistan and I did not want to be in that room anymore. And I had to politely excuse myself and leave. And I didn't minister to that patient. Somebody else had to. And then later on, I was able to tell my small group of peer chaplains and my supervisor, and they helped me walk me through that process. It was almost like a counseling session for myself. And I was able to find cleansing and healing for my life. So CPE can be the best and also one of the most painful years of your life because you have to deal with some stuff. And if you don't want to deal with it, then you're not going to be very successful in CPE or hospital chaplaincy. But if you haven't been asking, if you'd like to make sure it's on for army captain, it's on your OER and also your brigade chaplain knows about it. And so just let everybody know, Hey, I would like to go to CPE. Now for every year of schooling at the army, will give you that you want to take like this, you owe them three years utilization tour. So that's what happened to me. I was assigned to Seoul, Korea, to Young Sun, the one-to-one -one cash where I spent three years of wonderful, powerful ministry. And it was, I grew and I enjoyed it. My wife loved it. It was a great, awesome time for us. And so while I was in CPE, I was able to go through a doctorate in ministry because that's uh, another byproduct, a great byproduct of this program is the Army will pay for you to get your doctorate of ministry done. And that's what I did. So in 2016, I was able to graduate and con be conferred with my doctorate of ministry from Erskine Seminary. Now they have a contract with Wesley Theological Seminary. But 
That's free chicken. And I encourage all Army chaplains, young Army chaplains, if you have not had CPE, I encourage you to take it. I encourage you to get it. It's going to make you a better chaplain. It's going to make you a better person. And it's going to help you and guide you for God and country to do what God has called you to do. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or any, some other religion. Your God has called you to be a light in the darkness, a chaplain with the United States Army. CPE is going to help you be that better chaplain, to grow you, and so that you will learn from the patient, but also from yourself. So I hope this encourages you. If you have any other questions, I'm going to put some links at the bottom of this video for CPE and also for the various different programs that might be out there. So I encourage you to just check them out, take a look at it, and see if God wants and directs you to that form of ministry. May you be blessed, and may God grant you success in all you say and do. For God and country, amen.